Hello everyone, Shoestring here. I have 600 watts of solar on my roof, but it doesn't always give me all the power I need to run the house when everything is on solar. Occasionally, my solar requ system requires more power than I have up on the roof. And I don't want to put more solar up there. Panels are expensive, they're hard to get together, and it just becomes cheaper and easier to use them on the ground. So what I've done, instead of buying more solar panels to go on the roof, I have got these two 100-watt Harbor Freight solar panels, as you can see right here. And I have them connected to the hub. It's a universal hub. It can take up to 400 watts, and I only have 200, so that works pretty good. And what I've done is, as you can see, the wire comes right in, and I have it connected to a Renergy, right there, Voyager charge controller. It is 20 amps, so it will easily handle the extra power that I need to put in. And this charge controller, with my main charge controller, makes sure together, even though they don't communicate, I'll tell you that, they do make sure that the batteries do not overcharge. Right now I have them connected to the battery here. Occasionally I'll move them around. This is 600 amp hour Power Queen solar battery backup I have for when the power goes out. Or sometimes just if I want to use it. Three of them here. These Power Queens are pretty good. They're fairly inexpensive and so far they've worked really well. So has this <coughs> energy charge controller I've been using. Uh, so that's my backup power. I don't always use it when it's cloudy out and um, the system isn't really in use. I don't need to. And I just disconnect it, which is easy enough. Just remember, always connect the battery first to the charge controller. So if you're going to disconnect it, which is, like I said, pretty easy, just find the wires that go to the charge to the batteries unplug them just like that unplugged then you can disconnect the charge controller from the batteries just like that and I just set them down and they're now off in most of my videos are so you can see what I do that helps my solar system work that's relatively inexpensive the Voyager was relatively inexpensive oh and no Voyager didn't, uh, Renergy didn't send me this. Harbor Freight did not give me the hub or the solar panels. And it's connected to these Power Queen batteries. 12 volt, 200 amp hours each. And they are working, by the way, really good. And they're relatively inexpensive. If you're looking for something like this, you might want to consider these. And no, Power Queen did not send me the batteries. Okay. So, it's fairly simple. Anyway, I wanted to show you that. You could easily see how I do it. And if you need extra power and your bat and your solar panels just don't keep up with your usage, you can try something like this too. Just make sure you use a small enough solar panel that it doesn't overcharge your batteries or you do what I did, put a charge controller on there. Okay, hope that helps a little. If you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe and shoestring out.